What's going on everybody? I wanted to do a quick little video because I just picked up a 3D scanner and as you can see by the white all over the front of my car, which we'll get into in a second, I scanned a bunch of stuff and you know, just kind of want to share with you where I'm at. All right, so you can see the white powder over everything. You can see where I like rubbed up against it. So first learning curve was it's very hard for these 3D scan, well, I guess I should start with the scanner I got. So I ended up getting this Revo Point Pop 2. So in the world of 3D scanners, I thought it was reasonably priced. I know there's, there's ones that are super, super expensive. And then, shoot, there might be cheaper ones. Um, but I feel like 3D scanners might be one of those things you sort of get what you pay for. But I'm not an expert in them. It's not like I have a bunch of experience with them. I have experience with the Pop 2 because that's what I got. But all that to say that I've, I've been able to get some really good scans out of it. Um, so we're going to go over that right now. So as you can see, all the white on the car is just like a powder, which they do make specific 3D scan spray. I just used some dry shampoo, this Batiste. I did try uh, this like athlete's foot powder spray. It's not as good. I'll put a little screenshot up of the two next to each other doing that oil cooler right there. So yeah, first things first, it's very hard to scan shiny black stuff or dark stuff. It's also impossible to scan stuff like headlight lenses. So they need some sort of like powder or coating or I'll show you what I did on this side. I put little pieces of tape with like dark circles. I think a few of them I even put like X marks and stuff. And believe it or not, when I scanned this area here, they're kind of just like makeshift marker dots. Now you can buy specific marker dots. Um, I did not try those yet, but I'm sure they would be helpful as well, which also helps you when you go to line up scans over there. So that's what we're going to jump to right now. The first scan we're going to look at is kind of like the headlight up to, you know, the edge of the bumper cover and around. And then we're going to align it with the second scan, which is, you know, where that one left off up to around the middle of the radiator to get like the, the size of the duct and the placement and how much room we have for everything. All right, so I already got them loaded up and you can see how they obviously don't line up, but here's the headlight and oil cooler area. And here's the other edge of the bumper to the middle of the radiator. And you can see we have overlap of, you know, the, the bumper beam and some of the headlight and everything. To get them aligned, you hit this little yellow A up here. One of them you need to designate as being the glued mesh. So it'll just be the first one. The second one, we'll do some point-based gluing. And this is kind of, I don't want to say easy, but, you know, to pick out the overlaps, we're obviously going to use the bolts of the bumper beam. Uh, let's turn this one, maybe even the, right at the center of the, T of the bumper beam and then let's get some far away let's go up to the headlight corner we have and maybe even uh, oh there you go this little this would be the bolt holding the headlight to the car and that should be enough uh, hit OK and there you go all of a sudden both meshes are glued together into one all right so jumping ahead a little bit you can see how we took that one we just did and then did basically the opposite to the other side where from the center of the radiator to the end you know the driver's side of the bumper beam was another area and then driver's side headlight and oil cooler were another now from here, just as simple as it was adding, so this is effectively four scans together now merged into one. You know, if you need more detail, you know, down in this area, um, you know, you want to get the whole under tray or whatever, you can always add it into the scan pretty easily. So, 
So anyways, that's kind of where I'm at. You know, I'm a total noob to 3D scanning. I'm sure you guys watching this can probably give me some tips, stuff to try. All in all, it really wasn't too bad. The Revo Point scanning software was pretty easy. Um, they do have a Revo Studio. What we were just watching was Mesh Lab. I'm working with somebody that they use Mesh Lab, so that's kind of why we did it in Mesh Lab. But you know, Revo Point has their own software if you want to use that as well. Um, but yeah, this is going to open up. Oops, this is going to open up some cool options for us. You know, that scan that you just saw. You know. I'm going to be using it for some front end stuff I have coming up. So if you want to see stuff we're developing for this car, hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, this is a quick little, you know, intro video. Um, yeah, nothing too crazy on this one, but, you know, stay tuned. We'll have some cool stuff coming up. So as always, guys, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you in the next one.